I'm kind of known as a computer whiz to a lot of my friends, so, and to my family. And I've been asked a lot if I know of a way to get Microsoft Office for free. Because no one likes paying for software, especially $150 for something that you're just typing with and using for school. Because it's not worth it. So, there is a way to get it for free, many ways, but they're illegal. Because you're not paying for it. And you're supposed to. So, there are alternatives that you can use that are exactly like or pretty close to the original product that you're looking for. My favorite is called OpenOffice. I find that to be the closest to Microsoft Office. So, you, uh, you can get it at openoffice.org. That's O-P-E-N-O-F-F-I-C-E dot O-R-G. And you can download it for free. It's by Sun Microsystems. It's open source, so nothing to pay. Can't go wrong there. It comes with six programs that they threw in two that I have not seen in Microsoft Office yet. And there are four that are like other Microsoft Office programs. There's Writer, which is like Microsoft Word. There's Impress, which is like Microsoft PowerPoint. There's Calc, which is like Microsoft Excel. There's Base, which is like Microsoft Access for building databases. And there's also math and draw. Math, you can make really nice, you know, like math equations. You know, you put them nice and arrange them and then export them and put them into documents. There's also draw. You can draw nice figures and designs and you can put them into documents too because, micro, because uh, OpenOffice Writer does not have a very nice drawing capabilities in the program. So there are nice, so it comes with a separate program for doing that to make up for the loss. It's currently version 2.3.1. It's not beta. I started using it when it was 2.1, and I've loved it ever since. It's great. I use it all the time. Uh, but, you know, you got to admit, Microsoft Office is a lot better. But if you're looking for a free version, you, you'd want to try this out because you would. it's really great to use. It doesn't look as nice. The UI is not beautiful looking and whatever shiny like Microsoft Office, how they overdo the shiny, but it still doesn't even, it, it, and it's kind of crappy anyway. But uh, this it's basic. It has all the tools there. You just got to learn to use it. It takes about a couple days. You get, you, you'd be quick at it like this. It's, it's really great to use. I love it. It's, I've used it. Uh, kudos to them. They did a great job on doing something that no one else has really done. Uh, so that's about it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Go over to that website, download it, installs 20 minutes, done, ready to go. Basic, easy to use, fun, great. Uh, one more website I want you to know about right here. Can you see that? You see that right there? See that? Live.b2rkid.com. Go to that website now. It's got, we're, we're streaming live, me and my friend Anthony, streaming live all the time. Yeah, talking about computers, talking about anything. We have fun. Chat room, everything. So come and join us anytime you want. We're usually always there. If not, we're sleeping, but we're playing music and stuff. So come and enjoy. Any suggestions or tips, email us, antdpjoeblive at aol.com. Suggestions, questions, anything you want to know, and we can answer it through a video, or we can email you back and give you the answer, help you out with anything that you need help with. That's a n T D P J O E Y B L I V E at AOL dot com. See you later.